What's up everybody? It's your girl Maya Chanel and welcome back to the channel. So as you can see by the title, I'm about to put y'all on today, okay? So if you're trying to start a business, if you know somebody trying to start a business, if you're trying to start a blog, this is where you need to be, okay? I know starting a business, an online business at that, a website is essential, but nobody got time or money to pay somebody $10,000 to do their website. Exactly. Creating all that code and all of that, it's not easy. It's not easy. So I'm about to let y'all know about the pros and cons of a few of the top competitive website builders there are. Just to name a few, you got WordPress, Shopify, Gator by HostGator, Big Commerce, you got Weebly, you've got Wix, you got Squarespace, and that's just to name a few because there's a whole lot of them out there, but these are the top branded website builders there are out there right now where there are millions of online stores using these platforms. We're gonna go through this list of just a few, probably like five or so, list out the pros and cons, and then I don't know, you pick which one is best for you because I can't tell you what's best for you. You gotta know what your pocket set. You gotta know what you wanna do with the website. You gotta know your skill set. So, I'm gonna let you know that all right now. So first things first, we're gonna start with WordPress. So let's not get it confused because there are two different WordPress and you probably didn't even know it. So there's a wordpress.org and there's a wordpress.com. Now, WordPress.org is free. It's free, but you have to do everything yourself. And when I say everything, you basically got to be that person that does all the coding and the web developer hosting and all of that and above. And anybody got time for that? WordPress.org, not super friendly for beginners. WordPress.com, super friendly for beginners because they have templates galore thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of plugins so when you want your cart abandonment you want to retarget customers you want to send them out advertisements anything you want you name it all of those plugins are ready and available to you so wordpress is primarily a spot for bloggers so if you have a blog that's wordpress it makes sense with the words and the yeah, you know, just like a newspaper, news press, all of that, yeah, blog. But they do have an e-commerce capability, which makes their website amazing because it's like blog, e-commerce, best of both worlds. Um, their e-commerce platform that integrates is called WooCommerce. Check it out, a lot of great specs. However, their basic plan does not offer the e-commerce store you have to upgrade in order to get that so check that out compare their pricing and you know which one is best for you because hey, hey, hey. like i said i don't know where your pockets stand you're starting out a business you gotta make sacrifices you gotta start small to build big and get there see the vision a uh, limitation about the word wordpress.com is that you can't add custom plugins but it's already it's already handled because you got all the plugins that are already ready and available to you so just use what they give you you know hey if you need to get the custom plugins then go ahead and spend your little ten thousand dollars or so or go learn how to do it yourself and boom you got it but hey why spend all that time all that money all that energy when they do it for you so one that is very 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 commonly used after wordpress because i think wordpress is the top website builder on the market right now but shopify is in the close second for runner up so shopify amazing 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 templates platforms the beauty of it all i even think kylie jenner runs her website on shopify if i'm not mistaken shopify is just great i mean it's fully hosted which is great um meaning that you don't have to host your own domain somewhere else and store and update be up to date with everything like it's already taken care of through their platform which is amazing it's just like hey 
I don't want to do all of this, so I'm going to just hand it over to y'all to do it. Um, Shopify starts at, I think their basic plan starts at like $30 a month or something like that. But they were doing a really great promotion where you got 90 days free trial. Like, who do you know gives you a 90 day free trial during quarantine? So if you didn't start your business during quarantine, then I don't know what to tell you. Because they was giving everything out for the free. Even if you have online and an actual brick and mortar location, you they even have a built-in POS system so that you can track your online sales and your in-store sales all in one spot. And you don't even have to like worry about nothing. Fully full inventory. Um, management, all of that, taken care of by Shopify. They have the built-in plugins, the things, the all of that and above. Some things are going to cost extra. I'm going to tell you that now. So add some more to that little thirty dollars there every month because a lot of those third-party apps are going to cost you a little bit extra every month. So beware, please. Third website we're going to talk about today is Weebly.com. So this is another fully hosted, no coding, no nonsense website. They have tons of built-in features. I think it starts at about like $8 a month. So, I mean, it's a, it's a little bit more beginner friendly. It, pretty, it may not have all the bells and whistles of WordPress and Shopify, but it's a start. You gotta start somewhere. Like, don't think that when you start a business, you have to start like, boom, at the top. Like sometimes, it don't, it don't always happen like that. You feel me? Just start, start small. If, if that's what you can afford right now, start small. Like, you know, you can always graduate and move your website to another platform in the future if need be. Fourth website of the day is Wix.com. Wix, I think, starts at about like $9.15 a month. Wix is uh, fully hosted, which is good. All of these websites that I'm talking about are fully hosted, so you won't have any problems. They have dozens of free let me say that again. Free third-party apps, um, which is amazing because we love the word free. And they have paid apps, which I'm pretty sure are a little more, mm, look, add a little more mm, to your business, you know, to your website. Get you a little bit more coins. You know, you got to spend money to make money, okay? Spend to make, spend to make. The only thing about Wix is that they do show ads on your website. So it's like, what? I'd rather pay a little bit more money so I can be fully branded myself because I gotta wait on those sponsorships because I wanna be paid for the sponsorships. You know what I mean? So that's one thing that I probably would not, you know, like about Wix, but you know, you gotta start somewhere. So if it's good for you to start at that price, then go ahead and do what you gotta do, you know? But um, yeah, Wix puts ads on your website if you don't upgrade from that $9.15 a month. The fifth and final website is Squarespace. So this one is like, you know, the little, the like, I don't know, like um, the square checker, like POS system and all of that stuff where you can like get the little square thing, put it on your phone, take credit card payments and all that stuff. Yeah, so this is their website. Um, the crazy thing is you can use multiple templates at one time. So like, that's like, that's like real legit. Like you can really customize this thing. You know what I mean? Um, theirs is about like $12 a month, but they're very limited with what kind of payments they take. So they only take um, Stripe, Apple Pay, and PayPal. That's it. No other, no other terminals. Now Shopify has their own payment gateway plus everything else, like everything else. So. That's cool too. They have everything and Squarespace is limited where they only take three different payment gateways. Hey, if it works, it works. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can just put their card and pull in there. So that's fine too. However, they do have limited integrations with their website. So it's not like it's going to give you everything you need as far as the back end of grabbing people's information to resell to them and you know, increase your sales. Those are five different platforms that you can start your business from today. Choose what works for you. Don't go above and beyond, start start small. If you can start with Shopify for $30 a month and then wait on adding those little add-ins, then go for it. If you start on um, web WordPress, go for it. Just do what works for you. 
because you know at the end of the day you got to do you all of these websites are drag and drop so it makes it super easy for you to design your website add new things move things around perfect so easy 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 shouldn't have too many problems when trying to set up your own website I'm, i know there's plenty of people who offer to set up your websites for you so you can go ahead and there's a lot of people that do that too you can pay them to do that but it's easy enough for you to do it yourself so there you have it if you have any questions comment below i'll be happy to answer them and until next time if you're new to the tribe subscribe and like and comment on this video share it with someone else who may need to be put on so until next time i'll see you later